The Great Scenic Railway is an iconic part of Luna Park, Melbourne, first built in 1912. This video dives into the history of the Scenic Railway. The Great Scenic Railway was built in 1912 by L.A. Thompson. The ride features one kilometre of track, which is set around the fence line of the park. It is the oldest continually operating roller coaster in the world. The builder of the Scenic Railway had also designed the Oriental Scenic Railway in Atlantic City, with the slogan for that coaster being, Ride it just for fun. This is how Luna Park produced the slogan, Just for Fun. The coaster uses a staggering 65,674 metres of Oregon wood that was shipped to Melbourne from Canada over 100 years ago. Low Luna Park was closed for much of World War I through until 1923. The scenic railway remained open throughout the conflict. The scenic railway is also one of the only examples of a coaster with an onboard brake operator, where a ride operator must manually control the brake application on the train. The Scenic Railway is also one of only two wooden roller coasters left in Australia, the other one being at Luna Park, Sydney. In the 1980s, the Scenic Railway was painted yellow instead of its iconic white. Painting the coaster is always continuous. When sections of the track are replaced, they are repainted before being installed. To repaint the entire coaster would cost approximately $750,000. In the early 2000s, the Scenic Railway received an overhaul when the lease of the park was sold. Today, the Scenic Railway consists of 322 posts, 161 frames, 12,800 track screws, 6,440 litres of paint, 220 metres of pull-up cable and 3,000 lights just on the Scenic alone. T.H. Eslick was an amusement park builder with a lot of experience under his belt. Having just finished construction of a scenic railway for King George V's 1911 visit to India, he came to Melbourne and built an almost exact replica. However, Melbourne's has lasted much longer. Training to become a brake operator consists of 24 hours of training, which includes theory work, a track walk, and a whole lot more. Once that has finished, the operators then do a whole lot of driving, exposing them to different conditions. There are three trains that can operate on the scenic railway, a red train, a blue train, and a green train. These trains all feature the same design principles of a lion's head at the front of each car and the same seat design. There have been a handful of fatalities on the scenic railway, including one in 1925, when a 22-year-old man fell from the scenic railway and fractured his skull. Sometimes the scenic does tend to get stuck. This could be because of a number of factors, including wind, applying too much brake, and more. If this does occur, there is a team of staff who will walk the track and give the train a big push start to get it up and running again. That was the history of the Scenic Railway. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, why not give it a big thumbs up? And if you want to see more content like this, why not hit that subscribe button? That's all for today. See you next time on Looney Vids. <laughs>